your resettlement journey to Canada. 1. Before travel to Canada. There are many steps to go through before you travel to Canada. All resettlement services to Canada are free of charge. Each resettlement case is unique. The sequence of steps in this video may vary. Step 1. You begin the resettlement process. Step 2. Attend a selection interview. Step 3. Complete medical exams. Step 4. Pass security checks. Step 5. Pass an application review. Step 6. Receive approval to resettle to Canada. Step 7. Access pre-arrival services. Regardless of your settlement program, all permanent residents who resettle as refugees in Canada have access to pre-arrival services. These are free in-person and online services that can help you prepare for life in Canada before you arrive. Step 8. Prepare to travel and start packing. Here are several things you can do to prepare to travel. Gather the belongings you want to pack based on importance, safety restrictions, and weight. Gather and make copies of important documents. Types of baggage. There are two types of baggage you can travel with, hand baggage and checked baggage. Hand baggage is small in size. You're additionally allowed to carry a personal item with you on the plane. It is a small item, such as a laptop computer in a bag, a briefcase, a purse, or a small bag. Passengers can bring their baggage and personal items into the airplane. There's also checked baggage. It is the largest type of baggage passengers can bring on their journey to Canada. You will collect this baggage at the end of your flight. Add something to your check baggage to recognize it easily, like a tag or colorful ribbons. As you start packing, ensure that your check baggage meets the size requirements established by the airline. You can find the size by measuring the height, length, and width and adding them together. After your bags are packed, you will need to weigh each piece of luggage using a scale. Airlines have restrictions on how many kilograms per bag are allowed. The number of pieces of baggage allowed per person can vary and is based on age. For instance, passengers under the age of 2 will not have their own seat on the airplane and therefore have different baggage allowances. Follow the baggage limits set by IOM or by the airline. They may not allow any extra baggage or heavy items over a certain limit. If you do not follow the baggage limits, the airline may refuse to accept your baggage. Things to leave behind. There are some things you are not allowed to bring to Canada. If you bring them to Canada and do not declare them, you may need to pay a penalty or face persecution when you arrive. These include the following. Food, including meat, milk, dairy products, and fruits or vegetables. Herbs, spices, and seeds. Plants, soil, and wood. Parts of animals, including skins. Human bones. Large electronic devices, including televisions and home appliances. Vehicles. Firearms, ammunition, and weapons. And drugs. Prior to your departure, you will be asked to sign your immigration loan document. The immigration loan covers your transportation fees from your point of departure to your final destination in Canada. Good luck with preparing for your travel to Canada. Thank mm -hmm. you.